Hi, this is Deranged Penguin Forever. Another video on tutorialing, tutorialing, but today I'm not going to be doing real basic. Instead, I'm going to show you how to make a Warcraft 3 map, a s really simple one. So first things, you want to create a new map. So you go to File, New Map. You can just hit Apple N or Control N to make it shorter, and it'll pop up with a box like this. So, and so it will f so it says map size. You can make it as big as you want, except the biggest is 256 by 128. It automatically switches if you try to put two two 256s. But I like making smaller maps for one v one people, so I'll put a 96 by f 64. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger, a 128. It still says tiny though, but I'm um, fine with it. And it has a tile set. What type of place do you want it to be in? I want it to be in underground. And it has all these unbuildable stuff. Um, so that's underground. And ha most of them have unbuildable stuff. But um, I feel like having it in a winter. And. As you can see, the rough dirt, grassy snow, ro rock, that's the only unbuildable in snow and grass. But I just want it to be snowy, so I picked snow. And now it'll show you the initial cliff level, too. Just keep it as is. And also, say initial water level, I don't want any water, so I'll just put none. And then you hit OK, and then it'll compute it. And then... Here it is, the map. So first w first things first, we have to create a starting point for uh, the two people, eh, because this is a two-player map. So just I just went to the left side first. So what you could do is go to Units, go to Neutral Passive, which is right here, under Player 2, Player 1. And then you go Melee, open the Melee, and then go to Buildings. The first thing on the top is the gold mine. So I'll select the gold mine and make one right here. And you can hear the clicking. Now go to the other side. Make it level with the other one. It's going to go. This is pretty long, a longer map, but even though it says it's tiny. It's, I think, the same. And now you want to add another player because it's two-player. So you go to Scenario, go to Player Properties, um, click it. There's no shortcut for it. And when it says Player 1, you it'll show all of that, Player 1. And then you go to Player 2, and when it says Controller, you go to User. And then you'll click on User. And it'll go to orc or, but it doesn't matter about that. So, um, yeah, so that's how you create another player. So then you hit OK. And then you go to player, o I want to make this player 2 starting point. So I go to melee and I go to oh here and I go to buildings. And I go to the bottom, and it'll have the starting point, right? The last thing. And it'll have, it'll, it, it'll be a, the orc um, home, but really doesn't matter. So you just put it, and you want to make it so it isn't clear. Like, see, it's not clear, but when you, you can see the picture. So you put it there. So that's their starting point, and player two's. And now we'll set player one's starting point. And you can go faster if you just drag this map from side from here instead of using the arrow keys or whatever you're using. You can just drag the top or click. Now we'll add player ones starting point so it's there. And now you probably want some trees, so so you can 
get some lumber. So you go to terrain. Or you can also go to the tool palette and to the terrain. And then you pick our doodads. And you go to snowy wall, winter tree wall. And uh, I'll make, and the easiest way is just going to the size, making it go to 8, and changing from the shape from circle to square. And you can see there's lots and lots of stuff. So I'm going to jot this up because I put the um, stuff in the front. I'm going to put it more to the bottom and add just a bunch of lumber under. Okay, now I'm going to go to the other side and add another 2 by 8 by 8. Here. Here. And I'll add a little bit more. And now I'll just close this. You go up to the top and close the doodads. And now um, you can save. You should save it. And now it, it says that it's still under the default name. So I'm gonna change we're gonna change the name now. After, I'm going to call this Snowy, Snowy Forest. Snowy Forest. And then, so now as it saves, give it a few seconds. And there it's showing progress, going through. This isn't a very complicated one, so it won't take too long. And then to change the map name, you go to the scenario part, and you go to map descriptions, and then change the name from just another Warcraft map to Snowy Forest. Okay, and you can change the suggested to one versus one, and the description to um a, uh, I'll just put it to a bunch of trees of trees a bunch um on a snowy ground Okay, and that's basically it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna quit it, and it'll ask me to save, and I'll save it, and it'll say progress and stuff. And that's how you create a Warcraft 3 map.